so sorry. So thirsty. <laughs> Hey, hi, hello, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Faith. Thank you for clicking on this video. Today's video is going to be a what I spend in a month for the month of January. If you like these kind of videos, like this video, and I will continue to do it for 2022. Um, but yeah, let's jump right into it. So my first biggest category goes to my food and drinks. And we ended the month with a total of $961.18. $961.18 on food and drink. Now, that's not all me. I do also buy groceries for my household. So approximately half of that being just over $500 went to groceries and then $400 went to me personally spending on food and eating out. Still very high, but I spent $406.89 and that's on takeout, that's on Uber Eats and Skip the Dishes and a few, a little bit of groceries, not really groceries, honestly, mostly energy drinks um, to get me through the day and just like little things that I picked up at the grocery store. Um, if you don't know, I don't drive and so my transportation costs are split between my monthly bus pass which is 112 and my very frequent Uber rides which means I spent $4.79.11 on my Ubers. I mean, you know what you're thinking? That is ridiculous and I know I'm sorry, past me is sorry to present me <laughs> for spending that much on Ubers. I think I just have those months where, especially since it's cold, I don't want to take the extra time to get to where I need to be and also I usually work evening shifts so coming off a shift in the middle of the night I just want to get home as quickly as humanly possible so that's that okay my next category is lifestyle now this is a little higher this is a lot higher than usual from month to month one because I started getting lash extensions this month so <clears throat> I've had two lash appointments one for my initial lashes <laughs> and one's for a fill um, so those are new expenses and I don't know I haven't decided whether I want to keep going one based on how much I spend on them and two based on how they look. I'm just not quite used to my face with them and so I'm still trying to decide whether it's an expense worth keeping. Now the second reason is because I took two trips to Iconic Salon this month. The first was just my regular um, trips like I'm trying to start going every three months to get a trim and then every six months to get a deep condition with my trim um, luckily this month Dion said I didn't need a trim so whatever my hair is getting better and getting healthier and so I'm really glad about that but the second trip was when I went for my previous video um, to get my clip-ins put in and styled for my YouTube video. Um, so that was obviously an extra expense that usually doesn't happen. And then next on the list is my student loans. Um, this is just under $300 a month for the minimum payments for my loans. So those are just set in my budget and come out every month. 
Now next is my savings. $250 went into my TFSA this month from my paycheck. And yes, it's not very high, but I feel like the I feel like the end of last year I put a lot of pressure on myself to hit a lot of big financial goals. Um and I did that and I'm very proud of that. And also just coming off whoops, just coming off the holidays, I thought it was fair for me to take the foot off the gas just a little bit and just kind of go back to a slow and steady mindset for my savings rather than trying to save as much every paycheck as I possibly can. Like I'll probably go back to doing that because I do have financial goals for this year but I think starting off the year I just needed to take a breather and allow myself to enjoy my money. <laughs> um, my next category is clothing and that comes out to $179.87 so that's stuff that you will see in my what I bought this month. Um, yeah I think there's probably maybe one thing that's like won't arrive till next month and maybe one thing that was from last month whatever but clothing from this month was one set was just under 180. next on the list is miscellaneous expenses um this is just random pickups throughout the month of january nothing too exciting but it comes out to 164.87 for those expenses it's like six transactions nothing nothing crazy like one is my collagen my vital proteins collagen that I get every few months um, just random things like that next on the list is my phone bill that comes out to 10705 um, I'm just going into the end of my two-year contract where my phone finance was also on my bill so it has dropped a little bit from that thankfully and then my next category on the list is my subscriptions um so spotify icloud and netflix um and another couple now one i definitely need to cancel which is like so annoying of me but instead of just being able to like cancel it online or like pause it I have to mail in a letter and obviously that's how they get you is that like if it doesn't take less than five minutes to just cancel it you end up putting it off which is what I've done and then kind of along with subscriptions is my gym subscription I have a subscription to the Pilates class um, and it's $37.84 a month. I'm thinking of putting that on pause because if I'm honest I have not been consistent with it which is fine but if I'm not going to use it then I shouldn't be paying for it. And last but not least just um, miscellaneous bank fees. Um, I have like a $10.95 fee for um, my checking account when I don't have a specific balance in my checking account which is dumb whatever and then a balance protection fee as well but that's it um, which brings my total expenses for the month to $2,998.09 um which like isn't terrible, it is more than I would like to spend a month. I just need to work on, one, obviously my transportation costs because I just need to not be a lazy bum and actually like get ready early for work, leave early for appointments, drudge at home, 
<laughs> um, on transit after work, just stuff like that. So that's just a me thing I need to work on, which is fine. Like, I. <clears throat> That's why we look over our transactions for the month to know where we maybe went wrong and where we can improve on. Um, the other category being food. Um, I work a good five days a week, sometimes six. And I can definitely say for the last few months I've gotten really bad at cooking. Like, I've just, like, completely stopped cooking full-on meals. And so, that's where that's kind of just a lot of delivery. And so, that's another thing that I need to just, like, check in with myself, like, and make a plan moving forward for planning meals and grocery shopping accordingly so that I have things to eat at home and don't resort to just ordering out anyway yeah that is what i spent for the month of january um if you have any questions comment them about down below if you enjoyed this video like it so that i make more of them um it's scary coming on here and kind of talking about money which is really personal but I mean how else will we learn about our money and just like be more comfortable talking about it if we don't just start talking about it anyway leave your thoughts down below I really enjoyed filming this it's literally pitch black outside and it's 550 but whatever <laughs> um thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye